This is Sri Mal Education, Sri Lanka. Today I am going to teach you about decimal and its types. So there are, could be three different types for decimals. Finite decimals, recurring decimals and infinite decimals. Okay. So finite decimals, there is another similar name that is terminating decimals. Okay. What do we call terminating decimals. Recurring decimals, another similar name available which is repeating decimal okay repeating decimals so if you consider the properties of finite decimals no any exact pattern available and decimal range ends it's definitely ends okay now if you consider half it's 0 0.50 one-fourth 0 0.25 one-fifth 0.20 so you can see no any pattern available somehow the decimal range ends but if you consider recurring decimals or repeating decimals, so like one third, one sixth, one seventh, 22 over 7, so a number repeating here. Here another number repeating here. Here a group of numbers are repeating. Here also the group of numbers are repeating. So how do you identify repeating decimals or recurring decimals? There is no any exact pattern. No, it's like there is any exact pattern available and the decimal range never ends. It keeps continuing further. So if you consider here no exact pattern available, but here there is exact pattern available. Okay. And here decimal range ends and here decimal range never ends. But last one, the infinite decimals, it's like root 2, root 3, root 5, no repeating term available or repeating group, but decimal range keep continuing. Okay, so exact pattern is not necessary. Even if it's there or no, it's not a problem, but the group is not repeating. And here decimal range never ends. Okay, and there's a special thing I should teach you about the pi mark. The pi value is not sharply equal for 22 over 7 or 3.142. So those are approximately equal values. So we consider pi as an infinite decimal, the 22 over 7 or 3.142 as a recurring or repeating decimal. So identify the differences. Pi means example for infinite decimal, 22 over 7 or 3.142 is example for repeating decimals or re recurring decimals. And there is a new thing for you. So I think you have never seen some a such a number like this before. This is called the Euler's number. The value is 2.71828. It's keep continuing and no exact pattern, no any repeating group also. So this uh, E value has another name that's called factorial mean. So you need this one for your A levels, but it's better to know in your O levels. Okay. So hope I'm like identifying like this explanation is it really enough for you to identify finite decimals, recurring decimals and infinite decimals. Okay. So always consider finite decimals, no any exact pattern available and decimal range ends. Recurring decimal or repeating decimals, there is any exact pattern available or a group of number or singular number. Okay. Decimal range never ends. It's keep continuing further. Then the last one, infinite decimal, exact pattern is not necessary. Even it's available or no, sometimes may occur, sometimes not. But it doesn't matter. The decimal range never ends. Okay? Like if you have like further things, just let us know. This is Srimal Education, Sri Lanka.